everyone. My name is Tia9 and today we take a look on the Daytrick War celebration event for the Elder Scrolls Online. As always, you will find timestamps in the video description and also written guide on my website. The Daytrick War celebration event is a remembrance of the DLC celebration events that took place during the Daytrick War storyline. This year it will take place in Wardenfell, Perfect City and Somerset. To be able to participate, you need to own Morrowind, Clockwork City and Somerset or have an active ESO Plus subscription. During the event, you can earn double rewards for defeating World Boss and Delph Boss enemies, for defeating Geysers in Somerset, for completing Delph, World Boss, Ashlander Daily and Geyser Daily repeatable quests, for defeating bosses inside the Trites, Halls of Fabrication, Asylum Sanctorium and Cloud Trust and double yield from harvesting nodes in Wardenfell, Blockwork City and Somerset. During the Daedric War Celebration event, you can earn glorious Daedric War Spoils in Daedric War Spoils boxes. Completing your first daily repeatable quest in Wardenfell, Blockwork City or Somerset will award a glorious Daedric War Spoil box. Additionally, you can find rare Daedric War Spoils boxes by completing more daily repeatable quests and participating in activities within Wardenfell, Clockwork City and Somerset. Daedric War Spoils boxes have a reduced chance of providing special rewards. You have a chance to find inside the glorious Daedric War Spoils and Daedric War Spoils boxes, eye pages for Morrowind, Somerset and Clockwork City, crafting materials, zone set items, Everclome Champion Weapon Style Pages, Clome Griffin Fletchline Pet, Black Town Diver Skin, Microtized Verminous Fabricant Pet, Datis Remary's Bait Kit Memento, or Snowhawk Mage Outfit Style Pages. You have a chance to earn the Doctrine Ordinator Outfit Style by defeating public dungeon bosses, world bosses, and quest bosses in Morrowind and Clockwork City during the Daedric War Celebration event. Furthermore, bosses in the Halls of Fabrication and Asylum Sanctorium have also a chance to reward you with Doctrine Ordinator style pages. Now we will talk about the dailies in Wardenfell. There are four types of daily repeat quests in Wardenfell available. You can find two quest givers in Vivek City. In the Halls of Justice, Belero and Trail in Omoril, we give you the World Boss and Delph daily repeatable quest. Complete the quest, call for aid to unlock the Halls of Justice dailies. The other two daily repeatable quests are located in Aldrun. Umani Razi and Huntmaster Zurim Naka will send you to unique monster and relic hunting daily quests. To unlock these daily quest givers, you have to complete first the Ancestral Ties and Ashlander Relation quests. Next, I will explain you where you can find dailies in Clockwork City. There are four types of daily repeatable quests in Clockwork City available. Two dailies are immediately unlocked. Speak to the Clockwork Facilitator and Ratskuruk to start the dailies in Brass Fortress. Novice Holly will offer you later the Delve Daily Repeatable Quest. To unlock this daily, you have to repair the systems in the Halls of Regulation or investigate a missing Apostle in Shadow Cleft. The Black Feather Court will also offer you daily repeatable quests. The Core Bursa of Tributes will offer you daily contracts. You have to follow the Clockwork City main story quest line to unlock this daily quest. Last but not least, we talk about the dailies in Somerset. There are three types of daily repeatable quests available in Somerset. Justitia Farewell and Justitia Tenarian in Eleanor give you the Delph and World Boss daily repeatable quest. Both quests give us immediately available. Battle with Tenorline at the Plaza of the Hands gives you the Abyssal Geysers quest. To unlock the Abyssal Geyser quest, you have to complete the Somerset's main quest until you have to report to the Proxy Queen. You have to complete the Buried Memories quest, after that Battle Reef Tenorline will appear. After she showed up, she will give you the quest Abyssal Cabal. Complete that quest and then she will offer you the Daily Beautiful Geysers quest. During the Daedric War Celebration event, you can earn two event tickets per day per account. You will earn one event ticket for your first completed Daily Beautiful quest in Wardenfell or Clockwork City. And you will earn one additional event ticket for your first completed daily repeatable quest in Somerset. As always, the Impresario Event Merchant will open a shop during the Daytrick War Celebration event. This year, she offers Everglome Champion Style Pages, a Glome Griffin Fletchling Pet, 
all three Soulfire Dragon Illusion Fragments, the first fragment for the scales of Akatosh skin and more. If you're not sure where to find the Impresario or you want to know more about the dailies in the Elder Scrolls Online, check out my guides which are linked below the video. Thanks for watching and it would be wonderful if you subscribe, like or leave me a comment. Have a nice day and until next time, toodles!